Uh, yeah, it was uh, definitely a very close competitive first half. Uh, I thought we had a nice little surge to start the second half, which helped you know get us the lead into clear double digits. Um, you know, I thought NJIT played well. I thought they played really good defense on us. Uh, fortunately, our defense was good enough that uh, you know we were able to get a lead despite not shooting the ball very well. You know, we two kids that have been playing it at all conference level. We didn't have them tonight, but that's part of it, whether it's injuries or other things. Sometimes other people have to step up and contribute. And uh, I thought, you know, Naz in particular and Lisa uh, had outstanding games. They raised their level of play. And then, you know, Ty had a, a good second half where she really attacked the boards. Uh, so I thought that was really good. And I thought Davion, uh, made some nice plays and had some good drives off the bench. She really contributed. But, yeah, we were a little bit uh, shorthanded, and you could tell especially early. But uh, hopefully uh, both of them should be back for the next game. When, uh, when you guys shoot like that from deep, how important is it for your defense to turn transition opportunities? Well, that's, a, that's um, the only way you can win at that point. Like, we made enough defensive plays where we – you know, forced turnovers. We had 10 steals, and a lot of those steals led to layups. I think Lisa had four of them. Uh, Naz had a, a couple deflections. I don't think she got credit for the steal, but uh, that was the key. When, if you're not scoring offensively through your regular offense, you need to be able to score through defensive plays, and I thought we did that at some points, and uh, that was really critical for us, the uh, difference in turnovers. What, uh, what do you feel led to the, the poor shooting from three tonight? Uh, I, I think it started with just how we caught the ball. Like, we didn't catch the ball looking to shoot, and then we would shoot as a something to do uh, as a second thought. Uh, what do I have? Uh, okay, I'll shoot it. And I never think that's a, a good way to shoot a good percentage. Uh, you know, we've had times this year where our catches and our catching it ready and stepping into the shot has been great. Uh, but today it wasn't, and we need to get it fixed immediately. Anything else? Um, you know, something else I noticed tonight was even down two starters, even shooting poorly, whatever. There wasn't. You know, you guys maintain aggressiveness throughout the entire game. I feel like the whole game you're playing at 10. How important is that for you guys to, to kind of maintain that level of urgency? Well, we had, when you're not scoring, you better not give up easy shots. So you better compete and make it difficult to score. And, uh, you know, I thought we did that, you know, until the last two or three minutes, then we gave up you know, a couple three-point plays in the last couple minutes. But uh, to that point, we had played really good defense the whole second half. You know, they scored like 12 points the second half until maybe three and a half minutes left, something like that. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Nothing for Lisa? Just, Lisa, what's your I thoughts on the game? Fun. Okay. That's Sorry. fine. <laughs> um, so, just can you talk a little bit about how you know you were down two starters as well? Um, the dynamic of having Chandler and Kirsty in, and how that might have affected your game a little bit. Um, well, I feel like we we play a lot with um, the first group, so like we're used to playing with each other. But um, KP and Chandler are great players, so. We just um, we just had to like kind of get um, get in rolling like playing with that lineup, but yeah. <laughs>